<laughs> lovely, lovely. Just tricked you there. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the time of draft five. And it was quite a bit heavy. Especially my own. Oh, Jesus. Right, good afternoon, people. Paul, rate my beer. Um, as a lot of you know that were on my live last night, I got caught, I got, got pickled on the old Royal because of the excitement and everything. Anyway, um, I was going to do a, a revisit on, we were going to do a revisit on Budweiser. We've inspired by big, bold reviews, uh, uh, with these, you see. So I've got that idea of him, proper PD man. Anyone not subscribed, seriously. Guys, brilliant. Um, but... I was pickled last night, so I put in a red keg. Who was meant to be Bus Budweiser? That's bloody Asselroder. <laughs> so, I was a bit stupid, right? But it's red, so that's my excuse and why. Um, then this morning, if I'm not still stupid, then I'm more stupid. Because then, I went and put in Stella Unfiltered, which is white. So, God knows. Anyway. I blame the Royal. As you can see, I've gone down to one, so we're actually going to do... Oh, we've got the glass there. Oh, I thought we lost the glass then. So, we're going to do Hasselroder on a revisit with the bloody nuts that were meant to be on the Budweiser, if that makes sense. So, right, here we go. At one degree, of course, taking advantage of the facility of the Perfect Draft Pro with the exclusive temperature control. See, any idiot can pour a pint on this, I'll tell you. Even she can. Do you like me? Oh, no. <laughs> no way. Look at that. Hey, our proper German pint. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. So, right, let's do a quick shot. Can you turn the camera around? I'll do a quick screenshot. Okay, here we go. So, get a nice picture while it's full of life. Time it takes me to get the camera <laughs> rolling. <laughs> Big Daddy's door now, isn't it? Oh, that doesn't look right. Oh my god, I don't know. I'm not going to do that. Actually, I'll have a way. Do one like that. And then I'll get my technical director on it. Ha You see? So I'm not that bright, as the wife will tell you. <laughs> my technical um, director being my 15 year old yeah, son. That, that's your own. He's the one who does that for us. Oh, look at that. I think I've set this camera up really funny. There we go. You can't have it, it's alright. You just have to duck a little bit. Duck? I can't duck. <laughs> right. Lean down, that's better. So, here we go. Look at that. As you can see, I forgot to show the glass. Thick white fo foamy head. And. Yeah. yeah, that lovely golden amber colour in there. Good carbonation, considering it's not even a nucleated glass, I don't think. No. No, it's old. Mm. It's like me, it's getting on. You know, look at this one. This one's 2010. So there you go. Right, that's ready for the old draft crop, or whatever you call it. I'm not even going there. <laughs> right, so we'll let you go on the. Okay. Over. This, this for me, and I'll say before we start, is the unsung hero. Mm, yeah, it's got that great malty smell. As I've mentioned mm. in things before, I've got a hassle around a clock there, a thermometer there. Yeah. Um, what did you say? It's got that one. It's got a really good, strong malty smell. Yeah, it's kind of grainy. Mm. Such a citrus, a little bit, but this for me, I've always said it's in my top five, it's going to take some beating. Yeah, definitely. It's it is one of those ones that really not a lot of people talk about very often, but it is a great, great beer. Yeah, the unsung hero, I've always said, mm -hmm. haven't I? The thing is, by the time you see this video, you'll know about the new keg that could be a <laughs> serious challenger for its crown. Mm, there we so go. There you go. Well, no, no, by the time I'm not going to get this out yeah, first, I am I? Well, I'm not saying anyway, because it's more than my bloody life's work. Right. Oh, yeah, I'll do as I say. I think I've been, do you know what? I'm not being funny with you here, people, right? I've been waiting for this since 7 o'clock this morning. So there you go. <laughs> Cheers, let's dive in. Uh, 
the rule did a bit of a number on you, didn't it? <laughs> I think it was that out of date one. Yeah, that is absolutely stronger. Absolutely top draw. It always is. It, it's got an immense multi backbone mm. on it. And it just flows through and then you get your pills hit. At the end, at the yeah. End. It, it really is. It really is great. Really. So that's our Budweiser nuts. <laughs> with a hassle right there. If I can open them. I was, just, I was just waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> a man of many talents. Just yet to find any of them out, I suppose. He's going to pull it so hard in a minute, they're all going to come out. <laughs> that was for the dog. So, do you want to show the camera the exclusive Texan barbecue, smoky yeah. Texan barbecue crispy coated nuts? There we go. These were from um, B and M, no, not B and M. Was it Home Bargains? Home Bargains. And as I say, I remember our mm, boys reviews and thought, yeah, I remember them. If they're good enough for him, they're certainly good enough for us. And it says great with beer. I'm sure there's not a few about these, obviously. Yeah, they're not bad. Quite a bit of flavour to them, isn't there? Mm, yeah. But they are quite salty. Not in a bad way, though. Trouble with these, they leave all that stuff on your fingers. You get half peed and <laughs> you're eating them. I you get you know a bit of I mean. a mess with them, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it gets kind of messy, doesn't it? Well, there's only one dropped on the floor. So I, when she's had a few beers like I'll pick that up and say, do you want a nut? He will as well. He's really horrible about that. Well, I've not done that for years for you. Oh, I don't know what's yeah. a Rupert Bacon sandwich classic coming now. Tell him, why not? There has been many occasions the poor has dropped something on the floor and then tried to give it to me, thinking I didn't realise. Oh, you're not going to worry about the bacon sandwich that I gave to the dog? <laughs> no, I won't go there today. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, getting back to the beer, sorry about that. She's in a let me entertain you mood today. I think she wants me to sing again. No, I don't. She loves my singing. Mm -hmm. She only said to me when we ended a YouTube live last night, she said, you are a fucking singer, mate. Some talent you got. And I staggered in and fell asleep on the set in. Yeah. So, happens. Right, anyway, getting back to this. This is, this is phenomenal. Mm. Do you know, I'm not that sure on them nuts. Oh, they're no salami crisps. No, they? no, they are. <laughs> Do you know, the first taste there was okay, and it got quite a bit of crunch, reasonable sized peanut in it, and everything else. But it was leaving a really funny aftertaste in my mouth. It's making me want to pick up the pint and just lay it down here, see they're if not. it gets rid of the taste. I'm not. No. You know what it is? Oh my god. Mm. You know what it is? You should be doing them with the um, Budweiser. <laughs> but some Wally got pissed on Royal, but they're all bloody keg in. Twice. I don't yeah. know how I put this. Why did I put the Stella Unfiltered in? I don't know. I don't question what you're doing. I just let you get on with it. It's I'm when you said to me, we did in the bud with the bud nuts. And I said, you didn't put that in one of the machines. <laughs> See, as I say, unfortunately, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not that bright. I've accepted it and I, I move on, you know. I got roiled. But anyway, again, back to this. You were definitely entertaining everyone last night. Let's put it that way. Well, that's, that's it, you know. Oh. Okay, it's only a fly. Right. Um, for me, this is still top draw. Yeah. I know what I rated it last time, and I'm standing by that. It's a 9 out of 10. Yep. For me, I'll go along with that. there is no better lager on the PD, in my own humble opinion. I mean, it's a bit more of that. The worst beers beat it. <laughs> and Larnborough Oktoberfest, maybe. But that's not an all-year-rounder. Mm. This one is an absolute gem. And a pleasure to review again, as yeah. I say. Maybe it wasn't meant to be Hassel Rider, but I thought, bloody, I've got it in my machine now, so I'm gonna just YouTube it. Oi, no room at the end. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sticking with a nine out of 10. Yeah, it's I'll go along 100%, with that. Yes, I will even put it on my paddle there. It's a nine. Yeah, I was gonna it's, say. It's a rate my beer nine. Um, most of you will have tried this. Know. If you haven't, please do. As I say, you, I know we've had Camden recently. Camden doesn't even come close to this, in my opinion. No. Not even. It's not no, even at the races. I do like Camden, but yeah, this is this is different. But the new kid on the block that you will know. Yeah, that might well do. <laughs> right. 
enough. Um, thanks for watching. If you got this far, obviously, um, do feel free like, subscribe, share, and abuse me if you want. I don't know. <laughs> Bonjour. Thanks for watching.